guys, Jill here, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you a card that I made for Valentine's Day. Um, this is a shaker card that I used my fuse tool to go ahead and make the shaker for, and I hadn't done one like this before. So I did use this stamp set from Recollections. It doesn't have a name. Um, but it was one from this year's 2016 collection, and I did use um, quite a bit of the stamps in this collection. And um, as you see, there was the little tag hanging off of it, and there was um, four different options to add to that tag. So I pretty much went with you fill my heart. Um, doesn't really make sense because we're filling the jar, but I still thought it was kind of cute in with the pun itself. But um, I did use those little conversation hearts. I really liked the way they stamped out. And um, I really say um a lot, don't I? <laughs> I'm just now realizing that when I'm doing narration. So. We're going to go into the actual assembly of the card, and for that part, I am going to speed this up because it's pretty simple. So I'm using an older stack in there. I showed you a few of the different cards themselves. It was the Love Me stack from My Mind's Eye and an older Recollection stamp set. Again, no name, just from last year. And um, for those hearts, I used Brilliance ink pads and pearlescent poppy, pearlescent crimson, and pearlescent coral. Um, I used the scraps from the paper pad on the back, and I used some silver um, actual embroidery thread with a older um, Marvy punch notched into those corners. And um, those are some sequins from Michaels that I put into the pocket that I fused. Um, to sit behind the jar and then I just use some twine with my bow easy for that bow that sits there and the stamp I did stamp with the Versafine onyx black ink of course I use the powder tool first and um, always be sure to keep that little piece that comes with your Versafine ink and I'm just showing you how messy the ink is <laughs> um, I do use a filigree ink um, ink um, embossing powder with this and it's a super fine detail powder and um, it's not available on the market anymore just use a clear detail powder and I just emboss that as well as the tag itself stamped it again embossed it and I was just using that other sheet for protection and so the jar itself, the top, I just did that on silver paper ahead of time and cut it out. And so the tag also, um, we're going to emboss that along with the jar itself. And um, I do have an older heat tool. I did get a question about that. This is a Weller heat gun. Um, it's not cheap, but it's silent. And I've had it for probably about 15 years. I really like it. So I'm going to cut out the jar inside um, as well as the tag itself with my cutter bee scissors. I love these and that's another one of those items that I've had forever. Um, so just cut out the inside of the jar itself. And sorry about that silver paper being so reflective. And um, with this fuse tool, it's so easy to make a shaker card. I actually ended up making quite a few of these because it was so easy. This was my main Valentine's Day card that I made this year. And um, I, I just really liked how easy they were. So here's my silver paper. And what was really simple was I just drew with a pencil where the main base was and then I'll just cut around that and I don't have to be precise I just cut kind of a general area 
and um, that way I know the silver paper is not going to stick out the inside. Now here is where you get to see me use a large amount of glue, more glue than I will ever need because the silver piece is way smaller. But I didn't want to put the glue on the silver piece because then there is a border on the silver piece. I, I like to leave really small borders when it's a shiny type paper. So anyway, there was just extra glue, which is no biggie. So I just put on a scrap piece of paper. And I used the brilliance to stamp on the tag, and that was just the rocket red brilliance. So then I just assembled the card. I used some um, sticky back soup guang type tape. This is an off brand of it on the top and the bottom because you're not going to see them on the back of that fused pocket there. And then I stick that to the actual card and then I'm just going to make sure it's in the right place before I give it a good stick down. Then I'm just going to add some um, double stick tape to the top and the bottom of the main card itself and then I call it done. I used um, non-stick scissors to cut that tape. So there you have it. That'll finish up this card and as always I really appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching and have a great day.